All right, people, I hope you are ready to lose your heads. Uh-huh. Yeah, buddy. Literally. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. Oh, what's going on? Where'd everybody go? <laughs> oh, my gosh. About a meteor shower mode. Oh shit, it's a big ass rock that just dropped out of nowhere, man. <laughs> oh bitch. Menu was crazy, man. Wanna learn how to install a menu? Stick around. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo 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 this game's in graphics we are back in the building with another gta 5 my tutorial for you and today we are going to be installing an updated version of menu pc that's right folks this was this one is menu pc v1.5.0 this is updated this was updated back in august 15th of last year all right so this one right here is pretty much the latest version of menu pc all right so this link will be down in the description also there's going to be some requirements you're going to need script hook v and script hook v.net all right we will not be installing those although i will have a link in the description showing you how to install those if you don't have them already all right so make sure you check out all the links in the description for all the requirements once you have the requirements installed and you have your menu pc downloaded on my left hand side i have one download which is menu sp all right and on my right hand side i have my grand theft auto 5 directory opened up and ready to go i have all of my requirements installed which was my script hook v and my script hook v.net let's head back over to our downloads where we have our menu sp folder at as you can see as soon as you download it it's going to be a compressed folder so you're going to need a program that will uh, allow you to uncompress the folder which will be 7-zip or winbar or anything like that okay so i'm going to unzip it right now then i'm going to get rid of that compressed file now that we have our uncompressed folder right here let's open it up inside here is going to be our files that we are going to use to install it now pretty much we are only going to be installing these two right here which is the menu stuff folder and the menu.asi file okay so go ahead and highlight those both Drag and drop them both over here to your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, all right? So you drag and drop them, you should see both of them right here, okay? Now we are all done. As long as you have your requirements, which is scripthook v and scripthook v.net, all right? These are your main dependencies, okay? So a lot of people that install menu are wondering why it's not working. It's because you don't have your requirements installed, okay? All the links will be down in the description, all right? So once we have that installed, let's minimize any windows that we might have open and run the game. All right, as soon as you spawn in the game, what you wanna do is press function key F8 on top of the keyboard, press it twice. When you press it once, you're going to hear that little noise. Press it the second time, and you will see the menu open up on the left-hand side. Okay, so when you turn on your game, it's important you press F8 twice in order to open menu. All right? So now that we have got that out the way, as you can see, menu is up and working. Uh, the first category, we'll just, you know, go through the categories. Uh, players. Players was meant for online. You cannot use this online. This has no online access at all okay um once again this is not made for online this is only for single player story mode 
um, you have your player options uh, that allows you to do a whole bunch of stuff in here model changing wardrobe animations scenario actions moods movement styles a lot of things in here I will also leave a link in the description showing you how to use menu as well okay that video I will get uh, more thorough in um, what the features do and what you know how to access them and things like that okay uh, the next option is vehicle options. Uh, this is where you go to spawn your vehicle, menu customs, vehicle weapons, things of that type of nature. Also, um, your you could pr private PV your vehicle. Uh, pretty much, it's to save your vehicle. That's what I used to do. You could uh, check this to remember the vehicle that you're in. And that way, anywhere around the map, you can spot your vehicle. It also has auto drive as well as auto repair and a whole bunch of options in here. Okay. Also, it has teleport options weapon options weather options time options and object spooner and miscellane miscellaneous options and settings inside settings you could go ahead and pick a different theme for your uh, menu so this would be helpful for people that uh, don't like that default look you can change it to any look that you want and uh, the colors title box background all that you can change it all right here. All right. So uh, miscellaneous just has a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, what I do in every video, I urge everybody to explore all the options in this menu. It has tons of them. Uh, this video will be too long if we explore every single option. <laughs> so um, definitely go ahead and install it and explore away. All right. So we're going to end it right here, y'all. If this helped y'all out to install the latest version of Menu 1.5.0 in the new year 2022, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding GTA 5, y'all. This game's graphics. Me and Big Bowling as Frank. We out of here until next time, yo. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.